Hey guys, Rose here. Um, so I was, I've been watching people's YouTube channels. I watch Imogen, I watch um, a bunch of other readers. And some of them are actually starting because Imogen was um, filming, I hope you're saying, I'm saying your name right. <laughs> um, she was filming a video a day for like 30 days I think she was doing. And I was really into it. I was like, I would like play her video and let it play while I was cooking breakfast before work or something. And um, I really liked that idea because it I, I could kind of see the development within her of going from being super, super camera shy, semi camera shy, or just super like aware of herself on camera straight to like just not giving a fuck and you really saw naturally her personality come out and so I really like that and I think that I think it helped her I think she mentioned that it really helped her not be afraid of being on camera and not feeling like you had to be a certain way on camera and I really like that so I want to do something like that um it inspired me because I've been noticing um, a lot of my videos stay tarot related um, or I try to keep them tarot related. And I don't wanna do that anymore. Um, I don't wanna limit myself to just one thing to talk about, you know, or limit my channel to being one thing. Um, so I feel like I just want to turn on the, the camera, the phone, the camera, <laughs> film and just let whatever come out, come out. Um, this is going to be, I hope I, what my intention that I'm setting for this is that it will help me become more outspoken, more, um, more open about me, you know, um, give you guys like a little idea of myself, my lifestyle, who I am and not just a tarot reader, like more than that, you know? And also, I feel like it's cutting out my face. <laughs> and also, um, just to be able to, just to be able to talk, you know? Like to let things out. Like I, I spent a lot of time by myself, you guys. I spent a lot of time by myself. I was telling my husband that a while back because he's been gone, you, you guys know. He's been gone. And it's funny how I'm saying that and the hermit is staring right at me. <laughs> um, I feel like I spend probably 90% of my life by myself um, because right now, especially right now within the last few months, my husband, um, he's gone. So he comes home on the weekends sometimes. Sometimes he doesn't even come home. So he's gone right now while he's doing his, his training and stuff. He's doing his thing. And, um, okay, I'm going to put this back down a little bit. <laughs> and, um, I feel like when he's gone, you know, it's just me and the cats here at home and I work part time. So I work Monday, no, I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and every other Saturday. And, um, when I'm at work, I'm, you know, around people and I'm talking and I'm having fun. And then when I'm not at work, I'm at home and I don't have a lot of friends up here where I live um in fact I probably don't have any friends up here where I live <laughs> there's just people I, I know who live up here or they're like my husband's friends and I don't necessarily talk to them like friends you know so I'm really lonely in other words I'm lonely <laughs> um and so I find that sometimes I need to talk I need to talk to people and usually I do that at work like I'll have my time but I don't, I always feel like I'm bombarding people when I'm trying to talk. And even if it's just for me, it's just to have someone to talk to. But sometimes I feel like I bother people. So I don't like that feeling. And um, so I've noticed if I just turn on the camera and I start talking to myself, <laughs> how sad, right? But if I'm talking to myself and I have a video playing, I could put it on YouTube and it could be something for my channel, but also it's kind of therapeutic for me if that makes sense like it's nice to just get out what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling like what's on my mind so that's what I'm thinking these videos are going to be meant for is like kind of like a open diary for me or my ability to express myself in different ways and not just be hiding behind a tarot deck or not just be the tarot reader the cackling moon you know like I want to just kind of come out and be myself and be more open with that 
So yeah. <laughs> um, so that is what this, this whole filming, I'm going to try and film every single day. Okay. I'm, just, I'm not making promises, but I'm going to try and film every single day. Some videos might only be a couple minutes long. Some of them might be longer. It just depends on what comes through, but yeah. So anyways, let's just get into whatever I want to talk about. And I think I want to talk about my hair today. <laughs> so I, I just washed it. Um, and this is my natural hair. So I get a lot of comments, um, every once in a while on my videos on my hair and you guys have noticed it you've noticed the changes so if you like go look at older videos of mine i have long hair some videos i had red in my hair um and then other videos i had short hair because i did cut it short <laughs> and then i grew it back out um so you've seen the changes in my hair <laughs> and i get people who ask you know the last questions like how do you do your hair what do you do what did you do to it i'm so not high maintenance with my hair you guys it's this is this is what it looks like natural so this is um i just washed it and then i blow dried it and now this is how it, this is how it is it's it's like wavy my hair is long i think this is long that goes down like that my boobies <laughs> um but it took me a while to grow it out it grows very slow so anytime i think of cutting it i always talk myself out of it um, and yeah, so this is what my hair looks like natural. I kind of like it the way it looks natural when it's wavy because it has character to it. Um, but <laughs> it gets really frizzy at times. So I usually like run lotion through my hair. I know that probably sounds weird. I don't know. Am I the only person that does that? I hope not. I think other people do it, but I've been doing it since I was like a teenager. <laughs> so I'll like put lotion on my hands and then I just like kind of run it through the top part of my hair to kind of tame some of that frizz so yeah that's that is the hair situation and I can't stop touching it I do have a nervous tick to me like I do like to touch my hair um people have pointed it out at times and it bugs me when people point it out because I feel like that's just who I am and if I want to touch my hair I'm going to touch my hair you know um but yeah it is kind of like a nervous tick that I have so I try not to do it but I like touching my hair like I've always been that way. So if you don't like it, then sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how I, that's, that's, that's the story of the hair right now. So yeah, you've been seeing changes in it and I've been growing out my bangs. I have like these, yeah, like it's pretty long. This is the longest I've had it. I cut my own hair, like my bangs I cut, I've always cut and sometimes I go get my hair cut, but I have not cut my hair in like two years. I cut it myself though, like maybe four months ago. So I was watching YouTube videos where like, you like put your hair in, in the front of you and then you cut, like I cut my own hair and I'm actually happy with it because I have some long, um, you can't tell when it's like wavy like this, but when I straighten it, you can see the layers, but um, I have to do it again because it's been a few months, but I wanted to cut some layers so that when I curl my hair, it curls you know in different parts so when I curl my hair it curls nice I think I think my hair curls nice it holds a curl pretty good but um I do cut my own hair <laughs> I don't give a fuck if it's like not if it's not like completely like perfectly perfect you know I don't care I'm, I don't care but um yeah so I cut my own hair and um <sighs> This is my natural hair color. I don't have any dye in it. I grew all the hair dye out. So if you see like light parts at the very, very tips, which I don't even know if they're there anymore. Um, that was like the last of what was growing out when I had some red in it and stuff. But other than that, this is my natural hair color. I have dark hair and I have like grays that are growing in. And that's another thing, you guys. I have been noticing a lot more gray hairs coming in and it doesn't make me sad. Um, I think it's to me, I'm learning to embrace that. And that's another thing that I want to do with these videos is embrace my face without makeup. Um, embracing how I look and not worrying about putting on the makeup before a video. Cause how many times did I do that for the, some of my YouTube videos? I did it. You know, I did that a lot. So I want to learn to embrace the face without makeup. This is my natural face. Um, embrace my natural hair. And so what perfect way to start this video series than to 
put it as the first video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been seeing a lot of gray hairs peeking out and more so like on the crown, um, more gray hairs. And so I don't, I'm not upset about it. Like I think I'm one of those people where I can learn to embrace it. Um, I want the patch of gray. Like I want the strip. I would love to have that, but I don't think that's going to happen. The grays that have been growing out are kind of like, like you could see them right there. <laughs> So it is what it is, you know, I'm getting older and I, when you get older, that happens. Um, but yeah, so notice, been noticing that I've also been noticing skin changes with me. So I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know I have eczema. So every once in a while I get flare ups. I had a big flare up on my arm, um, a few years back, like the year I was married, it was getting married 2015. I had a big patch literally like on my forearm. I had a patch on my backside. I had a patch on my belly, which was the worst because it's like the pants would rub on it, you know, and it would itch like fucking crazy. And you're not supposed to scratch it even though it feels amazing to scratch. So I, I had really bad patches. Like I had really, really bad patches that year I was getting married. Um, but I think it was stress. And then I haven't had them since. And then I started up an, another patch. So I have a new patch which is here in my eye and it's kind of shiny because I put Neosporin on it because it was getting dry. And then I have another patch under my eye here. It's like a real small one. And then I have a patch under my nose right here. <laughs> so I think it's eczema. Um, I think it's induced by stress. I think it's also, it could be seasonal induced. Like one of you guys told me you, you get your flare ups a lot in the summer season. So we are in summer. So it could be that too. Um, but I did notice that when I got my patches in 2015, I had, my husband and I had just moved into our apartment. That was like the first couple months, right? And that's when I noticed the flare ups. Well, this stuff has started to happen. I've had the eye one, the eye one for a couple months. I just never really gave it much thought because I was covering it up with makeup, right? Which is probably the worst thing I could have done. So that's probably why it's bugging me so much now. And then the one under my nose I've had for a couple months too because I thought this was um, from when I got sick. I had a slight cold. And you know like when you blow your nose and you get dryness under your nose? I thought it was from that. So I was like, okay, well, that's going to go away once I feel better. And it never went away. So... <laughs> So I'm thinking because my husband and I again just moved into our house. Well, we didn't just move into it, but we moved into our house in January. And like, so this is like a new change and then all this other shit comes up. So I would, I'll take this any day over like the big ass patches that I had like all over my, my body because that was miserable. I, I, I would cry and I would just tell my husband like, just like rub it. <laughs> But, um, so it's, yeah, it's, un, it's unfortunate because it's on my face, but I think it's also teaching me a lesson to, to be more comfortable with myself and, and, and my imperfections, you know? So let's just take it as that. It's a, it's a learning experience and hopefully it'll go away, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, so anyways, there's that. <laughs> what other lovely lessons am I learning these days? Um, so I'm, oh, the other thing is I want to start, I'm actually probably, I should probably start tonight. Um, I have so many empty journals because I'm one of those people where I like to buy them if they're cute. So I think I'm going to start a mood journal, um, especially with the moon. So a moon mood journal. Um, so keeping track of the transits of the moon and how it reflects on my chart, because one, that's good practice for astrology. Like if, you study astrology, that's a way, good way to practice. But also because the moon is your emotions and your mood. And then for me, I've been noticing um, I get really, really bad depression at certain times. And I'm starting to see a pattern. And I mentioned this on Instagram, I guess, like a day or two ago. Um, where I'm seeing a pattern where I become really depressed. Um just like real melancholy and I'm noticing it's during the switch of the seasons like the zodiac seasons so we literally just left Leo and we're in Virgo today you know like today um I think it was like yesterday today it was like that transition time 
And the last couple days, I was in a very somber, melancholy, crybaby, emotional. I was just in an emotional mess. I had to cancel my tarot class. I didn't film the video until literally like just before this video. <laughs> um, because I couldn't, I just wasn't. I wasn't feeling connected to my cards. Um, I was having like those doubts of my path. I even like did a, an Instagram TV video of me like telling people how I was starting to feel like I was backtracking and I will never do that. Like, I hope I never do that. I don't ever want to go through that, but I was like feeling that. And so I'm like, what is happening? And then of course, like the astrology stuff in me comes out and I was like, Oh, we're transit. We're transiting. The sun is transiting through the last bit of Leo and we're entering Virgo season. And so when I looked at Virgo in my chart, Virgo opposes me because my son is in Pisces. And so Virgo is the sign that opposes Pisces. So the it's like Virgo is like your, your alter ego. It's your opposites. It's your like the, the, the negatives within you, you know, it's the, the traits in Virgo tend to be the traits that you have to learn within yourself to accept, you know, and maybe that's why you don't always get along with the sign that opposes you because they're opposing you. They're opposites. So I was like, well, who's the Virgo in my life that I struggle with? And that's my father. So, and then also Virgo is in my fourth house, which is the house of home and roots. And so I was just like, well, no wonder. No wonder I was feeling that way. <laughs> so um, that was like a, it was like an aha moment, you know? So I was like, okay, I'm not going crazy and I'm not gonna be, you know, converting back to the Christian church. Like <laughs> I'm just having a mild, you know, astrological breakdown I don't know I don't even know what I would call it but I was just super moody and I was super super like just in a nasty mindset for the last couple days and today I literally feel better so I'm able to laugh about it I haven't cried I just feel better um I also think I just feel better because I know my husband's coming home tonight so I'm not going to be sleeping alone tonight finally I haven't seen him in and I think I said 17 days been a little bit over two weeks I haven't seen him I miss him so much you guys um and it's like the little things it's the little things like I miss the way he smells I miss the way he laughs I miss like his laugh lines he has like real deep laugh lines or smile lines when he smiles I miss just feeling his body when like next to me in bed um I still like even though he's not home I still sleep on my side of the bed is that weird like should I be sleeping in the middle <laughs> But I sleep on my side of the bed as if he's going to be there, but he's not. Um, I miss him. And so the, this whole lesson with him not being around has taught me to be more independent. It's taught me to be more emperor, emperor energy. <laughs> um, but I do miss being with him. Like I miss that companionship. So... I think part of my moods, my mood swings lately and feeling emotional was also because I was just like up to here with being alone. Um, there's nothing wrong with being alone. There's nothing wrong with being by yourself. I love it for the most part. But when you're consecutively every single night by yourself and you are used to having your significant other with you, um, it gets hard. It gets really, really hard. It's hard to go to bed at night. It's hard to feel safe at night. Sometimes I get creepy, like creepy creepies. Like sometimes I feel creepy at night. Um, so I always like, I'll look out the window and make sure no one's out there, you know? Uh, <laughs> but other than that, like, it's just, I miss him and I can't wait till he's home. So he's coming home tonight. He should be home around midnight. And then, um, I go to work tomorrow but I'm able to leave early, so I'm going to be leaving like by 3.30 instead of 5, which is nice because it takes an hour to fucking drive back up here. Um, but at least I'll be able to spend more time with him that way. And um, I just miss him. Like, I just want to be with him. I don't even, we don't even have to be doing anything. Like, I don't like to, when he comes home, um, I don't like to go out and do stuff because I just want, I just want him in my house. Like, I just want him, his essence around me all the time, you know? And sometimes it's just like, even if we're just laying in bed and we're on our phones, 
he's there, you know? And so I, I just miss that. Um, and he's my little, he's my Taurus. Like my husband is a Taurus and he's so grounding for me. He is so practical for me. And I miss that. I miss that so much. I don't want to cry, but I'm probably going to cry. I miss that so much, you guys. And when you are, <laughs> when you are like, when you're, when your significant other is your best friend, you will, you, you know, you feel that absence and you're just like, oh, so two weeks was hard. And then I also, I went two weeks and then, um, two weeks ago, <laughs> The last time I saw him, the weeks prior, I went three weeks without him. So it's been hard, you guys. It has been so hard. Woo! I'm good. I'm good. Um, it's just, it has. It's been a journey, but his his training and stuff is almost done. He just has to pass these tests, these hard tests that he has. But if he passes and everything, then on October 4th, he'll be done. So we have like an, a solid month to go through. And I have to start hunting for my outfit that I'm gonna wear for his graduation. So I'm gonna start hunting for that in September. And then, um, and then, yeah. So I'm ex so excited for October too. Like I'm excited for fucking September first. I do that for myself. So <laughs> I um, let's divert to the tarot talk now. Um, so September first, I'm gonna be opening up my. Halloween theme readings in my shop. So if you guys have been following the cackling moon for as long as you have been, then you know every fall season I put out Halloween theme readings. And um they're like my most my most special readings. I, I recycle a lot of them throughout the year. So it's like the same ones will pop up. Maybe I'll change the name of it or whatever, but for the most part it's like the same ones. Um, and all of my Halloween theme readings are at a discount price. So it's like for the next two months, you can book a reading with me at a discount. Um, because it's just my favorite time of the year and why not, you know? <laughs> so all of my readings that, I, that I'll be putting out in the shop, you'll see the, the website transform. It's going to be more Halloweeny looking. Um, and those readings will be available from September 1st through October 31st, maybe even through the first week of November as we celebrate Dia de los Muertos, um, which is something that I like to do because I'm going to be putting out a special altar since I have my own house. I'm going to be putting together a very special altar for my grandma and also for my brother. So I'm just going to go all out with that. <laughs> so because of that, I'm most likely going to be having the readings available through that first week of November and then, you know, tucking them away and we'll see you later till next year. <laughs> but um, so if you want to book a reading with me through that time, they will all be done in um, Halloween -y energy. <laughs> it's a Halloween -y reading. So you're going to have like my spread cloth is going to have little skeletons and pumpkins on it. I use my dark theme decks. I do not use like I put away the Rider weights and I bring out like the vampire stuff. So, <laughs> so if you start to see like my... Um, the client readings that I put public for people to watch, because I don't put all of them public, um, but the ones that I do put public, you'll start to see, if you start to see like Halloween stuff, that's why. And I, I do Halloween in November, um, so blah, blah, blah. I do it in September because fall is, fall happens mid-September. And so it's like, why the fuck not? You know, like I'm over summer, I'm ready for this to be done. So <laughs> it just helps me get into the season because here in California, it's hot usually through October. So even sometimes through November, it's awful. Like we don't really get much of a fall. It's kind of sad. So I miss it. I went, I went to my sister's to visit. She lives in the East Coast. And I went over there in the middle of October and it was the most freaking gorgeous place. I cried because it's so beautiful. I just couldn't believe the colors and just the weather. And it's like typical, like those, those like, Instagram worthy fall photos that you see it's like that like you're living that over there so I'm so jealous so if you guys live on the east coast you are so blessed I wish I wish we had a fall like that but we don't <laughs> so it's either like super hot or it's super cold um especially me because I live in the desert so it's usually it's like either super hot or it's 
freezing, <laughs> but whatever, it's okay. So you make the most of it, but um, fall season, I'm excited for fall season, and I'm excited to bring out some Halloween decor, and I'm excited to just, you know, embrace this time of the year because it's my time of the year, it's my favorite. And, um, and yeah, so lots to be excited for, right? So anyways, I guess this video is long enough. It's kind of a nice little ramble. I haven't decided what I'm gonna title it yet, but I kind of touched on a lot of different things. Um, so let me know if you guys are interested in seeing me film once a day, <laughs> at least for 30 days. Um, that'll kind of get me into the groove through, you know, September and whatnot. We'll see if I if I decide to do the 30 day thing. If not, maybe I'll come up with something fun or something different, I don't know. But I just wanna like fall in love with what I do again because I feel like I lost sight of myself the last couple weeks. Um, I feel like I'm struggling because like I said, I'm apart from the love of my life. Um, so I feel like that's playing a role in me not feeling me. Um, and I just, I don't like losing my love for the cards. I don't like losing my love for what I'm doing. And so I want to find that again. <clears throat> and maybe by finding it, it's simply by allowing myself to breathe and allowing myself to be a part of more than just the tarot cards. So that's the whole point of this, um, of this whole little video diary. I think I'm going to call it that, like the video diaries. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I don't have any like precious video editing or anything like that. So you're just going to get a full blown like video. If you just want to set me aside and listen to me while you're doing whatever, then do that. Play it on your ride when you're driving. I don't know. I don't care. But um, yeah, so that's what this is going to be. Just my little video diaries. I think that's what I'm going to call it. Video diaries. Like I like that. Um, whether it's once a day or not, but I feel like as we're transitioning into this fall time that time of year that I love I think this will be a fun time to do it this is like the most magical time of the year for me um and so I'm excited to say bye to the summer <laughs> I know we still have a few more weeks but hey so anyways um I love you guys thank you guys for watching thank you guys for being a part of this journey with me and for you know putting up with me and um I will talk to you guys later bye loves <laughs>